A2P can be complicated, but you might be making it more complicated than it needs to be. And especially if you're using lead gen forms on Facebook. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step, A2P and getting it approved. If you have any questions, go ahead and put those in the comments. If you're new to this channel, hit subscribe. We put content like this out every week to make your lives a little more easy, a little more simplified. Thanks and enjoy. A2P requires to process fires that companies have a terms of conditions and privacy policy, right, to launch. We put those in our ads, in our lead gen form. In the A2P campaign, we actually gave them examples of what those were so they could see. They didn't have to go to our customers' websites to get the privacy policy, to get the terms of conditions, because that is a pain in the butt. When that started coming out, because A2P, I mean, I don't know how many of you have been around since August, but that's when it started and it's sort of evolved since then. You could get away with a little bit more, right? So I'm hoping that that doesn't change, but um, here's what we did. Okay, here it is. Here's our A2P authentication protocol. So um, in the campaign, use description. So, so you'll go to settings, you'll go to phone numbers, and then you will start your A2P stuff and you'd fill out their brand. I'll go ahead and just pretend that we're doing this for fun here. Okay, sure. This is all fake, so <laughs> this obviously won't work. Yours will not be fake. All right, so you'd fill out all their company information and uh, that's the brand, right? So their EIN information, their address. Oh, and did I sign up as a sole prop? I guess I did, that's okay. Brand name, Apex. And we'll say we're in healthcare. So now that you're at the campaign, it's asking you what is the campaign use description. In our SOP that we created here, this is what we copy and pasted for all of our customers. So I am, and we'd fill in their clinic, their name and their clinic name. So I am Heather Kelly with Kelly Chiropractic, located in Boise, Idaho, right? So that we would fill that in. And then everyone else was the exact same. Our contacts do not sign up to our website. So this is what we put in there so they would stop checking their website. But through our ads on Facebook, these people can opt out of our calls and text at any time. Here's a link to show you the process that people go through to consent to the service. So that takes them to this. And um, I originally set this up as a funnel and go high level, don't do that. They think it's a website. <laughs> And there have been times where people have rejected it because of that. And one of the tips that Twilio gave us was put it in a Google Doc because they will know it's not a website and they will read through your document. Um, so here's an example of our offer claiming process with our ads. Leads are not collected from websites. So I put this in here again. Leads are not collected from our website, but through our Facebook ad. Step one, the leads see an ad that they're interested in. If they want to learn more, they submit the learn more button. So I took an, a screenshot of the first step and then, you know, what that looks like. Second step, they are taken to a form to fill out where they're explicitly told that the information they provide will be used to contact them about the offer. Then they hit next. So I'll show, I'll take a screenshot of the next step and they fill out their info. This is the most important step right here because this is the step they're gonna check. Step number three of the process, their information has not been sent to the clinic yet or your account yet or whatever you wanna say. They have to check a box consenting that the clinic will be contacting them to help them clean and book their appointment. They are told that their information will not be sold to third parties. They are going to be looking for that. Make sure you have that verbiage, not only in this explanation, but also in your terms of service that you have in your ads. And if you don't have this in here, add it in <laughs> to all of your ads. That they agree for our clinic to text them to try and help them book their first appointment and claim their offer. Opt out instructions are given. This is also something that has to be in there. Um, A2P wants to make sure that they clearly know how to opt out. So you can see in here, reply, and we, we'll read through this consent so you can see it. Reply stop to unsubscribe at any time. Reply start to resubscribe. Your information will but not be sold to third parties. They check to agree, that has to be in there as well. They have to select to agree. 
and submit to process. So let's read through our third party that we did. By submitting your contact information, you agree to receive marketing messages from Kelly Chiropractic. So you agree to receive marketing messages from Kelly Chiropractic at the email and phone number you have provided. You have successfully opted in to receive notifications and promotional SMS from Kelly Chiropractic. And we have an external privacy policy that they can go and check. And we do put that in here as well. And then they've got the agree, so check to agree. And then by clicking submit, you agree to send your information to patient stream or whatever your company name is. And I think this is something that automatically, I think this is, you set this up in FX as well. So this goes on every one of your ads too, um, but who agrees to use it according to their privacy policy. Facebook use it subject to our data policy. So Facebook has their own thing, including autofill forms and for ads. And they put that in there so you don't need to worry about that piece. So that's what we did. And that's how we got away from the website issue. And then I do have a Twilio email um, if you guys want that information. Sometimes you're going through a human. Sometimes we would get people denied for no reason. It said uh, if it was their, you know, sometimes it'd say privacy policy. It's like Facebook. When Facebook rejects an ad, it's not always correct. So you have to ask them about it. So I can give you, let me find the email that I used. We make it broad. We, we cover all the bases, right? So it's gotta say, we will not sell your information to third parties. We had a client whose privacy policy on their website actually said, we work with third parties and we will sell your information to third parties. And so they were asked to amend their privacy policy, but most people, most people that we worked with did not have that and it wasn't an issue, um, especially since the privacy policy was in here. Most of them got through on occasion, we'd have some that did it and that's when we would have to email Twilio. And I just posted their email, their direct support email in the chat in case you guys need that. Cause they were, they, they were really helpful. They were much more helpful than um, Go High Level was just cause they have more control over that. The one thing you will need is because they'll ask you for their, their SID number. So when you go to brand SMS, there should be a brand SID and there might also be a campaign SID. It's one or the other. I can't remember which one it is. They're going to ask you for both, but you'll just, I think you only have access to one. So you'll say, this is the only thing I have access to. Here you go. And then they'll be able to look that up and help you guys expedite that. And then the last thing we did is if we ever, usually people like brand usually got approved within minutes to less than 24 hours. If brand gets disapproved, that's because their EIN number is wrong, their address is wrong, the legal business name is wrong. If it's not exactly like the letter on their um, tax document, and I can show you what that, I have like a dummy one we can look at in case you guys haven't, don't know what that is. Most of you probably do, just cause you probably have one yourself, but if their business information doesn't match their EIN letter perfectly, then it will get rejected. So let me just zoom in real quick. Um, Kelly Chiropractic LLC, that's the name. That's the, the legal business name. You have to put the comma in. You have to put the LLC in, otherwise it could get rejected. All of this information, address on this letter and EIN number has to match or their brand gets rejected. So that's the first step. And then the second, the second step is the campaign part. And that's where you're gonna have the campaign description as well as the privacy policy and the um, terms of service. And then we, we put the privacy policy link in here as well. And I did create a funnel for this just so it looks like a website. It's nothing special, you guys. It's really ugly, but it works. So I'll show you what this looks like here, but that's what we would do. Is that how, and then we wouldn't have to worry about their website. We didn't have to set up a landing page. We didn't have to, they have to have a website to submit their A2P, but that was just their, their company website, which most people do have. And if they didn't, then they, they either weren't a customer of ours where we said, Hey, you got to fix this before you come in. But later down the road, we started offering websites. So if they didn't have one, then we said we can create one for you. And then, um, and then we'll get you set up, right? So that was just an extra service that later we did. We didn't start doing that, so.